My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Grandma. Oh, I love you too, Glamour Girls. Yay, guess what, guys? The mail is here. My Tunisian crochet books are here. Yay! <laughs> I was taking the dogs for a walk and I noticed on my way back home I noticed the uh, mailman leaving our subdivision so I hurried up and got the dogs inside and I got the mail key and opened up the box and yay it was here. I haven't opened them all the way. I have opened this part but I haven't looked at the books yet. I wanted to, I started to. When I opened this, I'm like, oh, I can't wait. But that, that, no, I want to do it on camera so that my viewers can also see the books that I got. Yay. Ooh, there they are. Oh, this is a little one. I thought it was going to be big like that, but that's cool. See? This one's called Tunisian Crochet Stitch Guide. It's going to teach me a bunch of new stitches. Yay. <laughs> I've seen these at Joann's, but they're more expensive when you buy them at Walmart or at Joann's. So I got them on Amazon. And here's the other one. This one actually has patterns. This one's called Tunisian Crochet, Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Tunisian Crochet. Can you see that? Okay, there we are. <laughs> okay, let me see what's in here. Yay. I want to read about the history. That's why I'm so excited to receive the books. It tells you all about the different hooks that you get. Let me see. Different ways to hold your Tunisian hook. I hope it's bright enough. I don't know if it's bright enough. Let me turn the light on. There, let's see if we can see the pages a little better. Okay, I think that's where we were. Nope, we were over here. Yeah, learning the stitches. This is the one that I already taught you all, the simple stitch, which looks like that. Yep. <laughs> and yay. I'm excited to see the patterns. I saw them, you know how you can look inside books on, um, on Amazon? I, I saw a few of the pages. So that's cool, how to make a scarf. How to make a hat, yay. Ooh, that's nice. It's the Seed Stitch Ruana, it says. I think that's how that's pronounced. <laughs> and the level says that it's for easy. Yay, because it's a beginner's book. Awesome. I'll try to hurry. This is a crib cover. I'll just flip through it because I don't want the video to be too long. Ooh. I don't even, I can't even dream of being that good at Tunisian crochet yet to do patterns like that. Ooh, I think I want to make that. I actually saw that online at Amazon when I ordered the book and I thought, ooh, I want to order that. I mean, order that. I want to order that book so that I can make that. Let me see. Those are cute. So I guess it's going to teach us how to do cable. Yay, the cable stitch. And a little hoodie vest. That's adorable. So I have to tell you a little story. When I went and looked up stuff, here's what the back of it looks like. It's cute, huh? I think I'm going to make that for myself. Maybe put sleeves on it, though. Because um, it's cold up here in Washington. Even in the summer, the evenings get really cold. That's cute too. So let me tell you a little story. Saturday, when I uh, finally looked up um, Tunisian crochet to see if I was going to like it or not, and I told you that I watched like 20 videos or so, um, I came across, I ended up wanting to subscribe to, to a channel. I couldn't decide which one to subscribe to, and then I came across Kim Guzman, her channel, and I thought, oh, I like how she teaches. She's, she's, uh, I like her voice. I like that she teaches real nice and slow and she takes her time. She has a patient sounding voice. So I um, subscribed to her and uh, I thought that was awesome. So I learned a lot of my stitches from her. And then when I went on amazon.com to, to, to order books and I'm like, yes, I definitely like Tunisian crochet. So then I went on amazon.com to order books. Yes, I looked at like 10 or 15 books, and guess on the book that I decided on. 
the one that's by Kim Guzman. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so I actually um, sent her a comment on her uh, Yahoo, um, Yahoo, on her YouTube channel and told her that little story, how I had decided on her channel, after looking at a bunch of channels, I decided to subscribe to hers. And then I decided that I really did like Tunisian crochet, so then I went and ordered stuff and that I looked at lots of books and that the books I decided on were Kim Guzman books. <laughs> and when I put them in the cart, I hadn't even noticed that her that this was by Kim Guzman. I just, I liked what I saw inside the books and I didn't even look at who they were by because that didn't really matter to me at the time. But then later on, when I uh, went and looked um, at my cart to go ahead and make the order to, um, yeah, to uh, actually purchase it, I uh, noticed the title said by Kim Guzman, and I'm like, whoa, how freaking coincidental is that? <laughs> that the channel I decided on was hers, and after looking at 10 to 20 books, um, the books I decided on were Kim Guzman's, and um, I did not even notice that, that it was her book that I decided on till the end. So I thought that was pretty cool and I just wanted to let her know that and she responded back um, pretty quickly and said, you, um, to say that you made my day is an understatement. So she, uh, she responded nicely and everything. So I just thought that was really cool. And here's a picture of Kim Guzman um, in, the, in the little book. So I just thought you might want to see what she looks like. Wow, how to read a chart, yay. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome. That's the one I just taught y'all. And this one is a Tunisian reverse stitch. I guess that's the stitch that you can also use if you don't, I'm trying to get close to the camera and it's not letting me. That's the stitch that you can use if you don't want to have um, as much Tunisian curl down on the bottom. It, re it helps reduce it. So oh, that's a nice stitch. Okay, well, I don't want to take too much time, so I just wanted to show you the book in case you want to get the same one that I have. Um, we can learn out of it together, or you can just wait for me to teach you the stitches that I learn in here. Here it is. Oh, that's cute. I like that stitch. What's it called? Let me see. It's probably on the other page. I don't know. It doesn't say. Ooh, that's got. Ooh, I don't know if you can tell, but that's a heart. They somehow made their stitch so that the heart kind of pops off, kind of like 3D or something. Awesome. Yeah, that's the one I learned. I think the other day. That's a waffle stitch. Um, let me see if I'm right. Da -da 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 -da. I can't see the name. It doesn't have the name. <laughs> but anyway, you would think that the waffle stitch would be more of a square stitch. Um, like the like the simple stitch is more of a square stitch. You would think that that would be called the waffle stitch and that this would be called something else, but this is actually called the waffle stitch. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you the book because I'm excited since I showed you all the hooks. I wanted to show you the book too. So there we go. Um, when my other Tunisian crochet hooks come, the one with the cable, I'll, uh, I'll make a little video of that too. All right, guys. Talk to y'all later. Don't forget to come back and visit me on Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday. There's always going to be something new and fresh to learn. All right, guys, thanks for visiting me here at Made with Love by Glamo, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love every stitch of the way. <laughs> Bye. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching our Glamo's channel. channel.